to it. Video number two, we're going to start off with protection. Um, it's got uh, under the standard tab, this is a list of folders that it protects. Uh, I can't read every single one of them, but you can see. This is a list of files. Uh, it says, warn me if these file types are written by any programs not in my trusted list. Very comprehensive, and you can go ahead and add a file if you want. Settings. Huge amount of settings here. You, you can see it protects uh, all kinds of different settings. Um, like let me look at the startup settings. Protect against programs adding items to all users startup. Protect against programs adding items to my startup and on and on and on. If you don't give something permission to do something, it just isn't going to happen. Um, internet settings, protect against items adding to my favorites, um, you know, protect uh, my search settings, um, just there, there's a ton of them in there. I wish I could go over every single one of them, but you guys don't want to hear me drone on. Um, under advanced, uh, if something modifies a particular registry key, it'll go ahead and prompt you or you can say allow or deny. Um, and then your trusted list of applications is right there. Like I said, you can go ahead and add uh, applications if you want to your trusted list. Under access, um, you can create access rules for programs. Um, when you actually are browsing the internet and let's say something bad happens, you come in contact with a piece of malware if you block it, it'll get loaded right here. You'll see the name of the file that was blocked. Um, you'll see that it has no access to do anything on the hard disk, uh, file-wise, registry-wise, or even USB-wise if you want. On the scanner, you can go ahead and scan. It's got an on-demand scanner uh, using its uh, behavioral analysis and blacklist. You can scan your entire computer uh, for anything bad that you may have had on it before you use Drive Sentry. Quarantine, you can check out what you blocked. Logs, always very helpful. Advisor, uh, I haven't really used this much yet, but it is uh, pretty interesting. This kind of shows you um, people submitting uh, actual pieces of malware. And I haven't submitted anything yet, but that is interesting. Um, so anyway, I haven't uh, messed with that yet. Under options, options is kind of a big tab because you get to see um, your signatures kind of trickle in, and I thought that was kind of neat. So last signature that tr trickled in was uh, trojan.w32, that anti antiav.ps. Uh, the trickle feature is good for 30 days. If you want this thing to automatically kind of trickle in updates, yeah, I think you got to pay like 10 bucks. It's ten dollars, or it's uh, twenty dollars for it's twenty dollars for the United States. It's ten dollars for euros. I don't know. That may have changed. If I click the upgrade tab, yeah, you have to create an account and all that stuff. I don't feel like doing that right now. But uh, anyway, that's the, the major tabs. And you can you can load this application. Like I said, it's free and you can mess with it yourself. It's protecting my work laptop and I've been using it for uh, probably about three months now. And it's been uh, fantastic. So anyway, let me go ahead and let's uh, test this thing out. Um, hang on one sec. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and load up uh, Internet Explorer, and I've got some new uh, malicious URLs. We're gonna go ahead and throw. Um, well, we'll throw a few of them at. We're, we're looking for a minimum of five. Uh, if I have a few more, I'll I'll throw them on there. This is the brand new Kube face virus affecting Facebook. Uh, you can read about that. That's all over the news now. And
and Drive Sentry pops up and says critical risk virus behavior. And you can go ahead and read about what it says there. Uh, no advisor information. Uh, there is no data for this in Drive Sentry Advisor, so they don't know about it yet. We'll go ahead and deny access. So that's taken care of. This uh, particular piece of malware uh, uh, modifies your host file. That's gone. Let's try this one. Okay, Drive Sentry detected it. We're going to go ahead and deny access. Okay, taken care of. This is a password stealer. Really depends if anything's on here anymore, I'm not sure. Doesn't really look like it. Um, hang on, I need to start another video. Be right back.